An inductor coil joined to a 6 volt battery draws a steady current of 12 ampere. This coil is connected to a capacitor and an AC source of RMS voltage 6 volts in series. If the current in the circuit is in the phase with the EMF, the RMS current is. Now in the given question, uh, that they are saying that uh, battery draws a steady state current. That means I is equal to V upon R. This R is the resistance of the inductor coil. Perfect. So from there we can calculate R is equal to V upon I. So this V is 6 divided by 12. So this is going to be 0.5 ohm. So this 0.5 is the resistance of the coil. Now this coil is actually connected with a capacitor like this. Okay. And we supplied a battery of alternating current. So alternating EMF, which is 6 volt VRMS, right? So that means the impedance impedance of the circuit Z will be is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. We know this formula. Now here the this R is actu actually coming because of this coil because this coil is consist of this resistance R which is 0.5 ohm right so and one more important information they are giving that current is in phase with the emf what does it mean that suppose that if you have a phasor diagram right then if xc is more then current will be in this direction okay because xc is more then current will uh, be in this direction if xl is more let's say this is xc this is xl and this is r so suppose that if that is the scenario then uh, xl is dominant but here what is what they are saying that current in the same phase of the voltage suppose if we represent voltage on this axis then current will also be on the same phase that means they are saying that xl is equal to xc so if you put this value that gives you z is equal to under root of r square plus xl minus xl square which gives you nothing else r that means impedance is equal to 0.5 ohm only which gives us which gives us that i rms is equal to v rms divided by z that means we used a 6 volt emf which is v rms divided by 0.5 which gives us 12 ampere so 12 will be the answer which option is correct first option is the right choice okay